What is going on everyone? Matthew 97647 here. Today we are back with yet another figure unboxing and review. And as the title and thumbnail suggests, this is going to be the SH Monster Arts Jet Jaguar from Godzilla vs. Megalon. So with that being said, nothing more to it than to get on right on into it. And the last, let us begin. And if you're wondering uh, where is the box, I want to try and take a different approach to recording. Um, I feel like as if opening the entire you know shipping box is a little bit you know i guess slower and so i wanted to see how this one would be just i guess in terms of quality so it's a, it's an experiment so we're just trying it out but obviously as you can see the box was as good as new obviously as this is how it was shipped in this little uh protective packaging and so here is the box outside of that protective packaging and it's got a very very nice uh coloration contrast going throughout the entire box as you can see jet there and then some promotional images there and then some more promotional images jet jaguar and then on the bottom jet jaguar so yeah very cool i really like the aesthetic that they're going with you know kind of that 70s vibe that um i guess is stereotypical but i mean realistically this i mean it came out in the 70s so um <laughs> alas let us continue so we're going to go ahead and open the top portion of the box and there is our figure and ooh, it's been a while it feels like it's been a while since i've gotten a paper manual i feel like a bunch of the other videos that i have been doing lately have just been um e-manuals i guess that's what you would call them just kind of like electronic manuals where you scan a qr code and it'll show you how to do it i think there was one on there so oh man it looks like we're getting quite a bit of accessories here oh yeah we actually are I'm not going to lie, I wasn't really expecting all this. So here is Jet Jaguar straight out of the box uh, it's with that waist protective packaging there. And oh man, so it looks like we have the kind of like sonar antenna here, which is there for the kind of like flying mode, if I'm correct. So there's two of those. There is this, which I believe is the front piece for it. So it's two prongs out, one prong up. Um... Oh my gosh, I am not too familiar with this. There's a mini Jet Jaguar. I don't recall seeing this at all, actually. Uh, my camera probably can't focus too in depth there, but yeah, there's a mini Jet Jaguar. There's another, there's an eye visor just for, um, I guess the glow, because that one doesn't really look like it's glowing too much. Uh, on here, we have a set of stands. I'm not really sure what this is actually. Uh, I do a little bit of research. I'm probably gonna have to do a jump cut and um it looks like there's this i really don't know what's going on i kind of feel like i'm washed to say the least and then outside of that we do have some very nice hand accessories there's one where it's kind of just like an open palm uh, we have the straight hand out used for chops and uh flying away and then lastly which is awesome that they included a thumbs up. Very nice. Very nice thumbs up there. Perfect. And obviously, you know, there are the secondary hands there and it looks like that's about it. So yeah, I mean, there's a lot actually that's going on within this figure. So before we jump to any of the accessories, let's go ahead and do the base articulation uh, test. So let's go ahead and take off our protective packaging there. Starting off with the head um look up down not too far actually you know what it, it has a pretty good um range of looking up and down this is with the neck the head's actually falling apart so it looks like that's how you're gonna want to change i think the eye visor and stuff like that so oh man it, it's it's just kind of like a mold on it's not like an actual joint which is kind of unique actually um Let's move on towards the arms and go to the chest. So arms can go full 360. They can come up with help from this little like plastic piece there. And it looks like a shoulder pad piece. Um, in terms of moving the elbows up, we do have this kind of blue here. Something just flew. I hit it and it just flew, but I hope it's on the table. Um, oh man, okay. So there you go, it's on a ball joint, which is awesome. Okay, it looks like the other piece is actually coming apart too. Okay, let us just keep going because that in itself is gonna take me a while. So yeah, it's just connected through here. 
just as is and it looks like the shoulder piece came off as well and then so you can go down and then obviously you have range of fist motion so jet taking some battle damage here for just a little bit um at least along the chest plate uh you can go up you can get a good ab crunch here and then uh, you can swivel it and you're gonna get some resistance going around but you can go around i'm gonna go around okay sweet and so it didn't mess up the middle piece too much but i guess it can get dislodged because this is just a whole separate piece there moving down towards the groin area to the legs uh you can kick up can't really kick too back because the butt piece there so then there's that and then you can get a good knee joint there and you can kind of get a good amount of knee action move the piece as well and just however you like really and then the leg itself can swivel and going down towards the foot here can swivel and there's no toe joint either so very very cool um yeah uh, very cool you know it's in terms of detail, it looks very nice, and I'm looking at the prongs here for the going out. We'll get to that here in a little bit. But the paint job, it's pretty simplistic, right? A lot of the colors are just kind of like a straight finish. So there's no kind of like shadowy texture or anything, you know, too insane. Uh, but, you know, realistically, that's kind of how Jet is. I wouldn't imagine there's an insane amount of... Um, an insane amount of other paint contrast to get out of the original Jet Jaguar, right? So very cool. I'm going to go ahead and do some research uh, upon the accessories as I try to get this guy to stand straight. Um, but yeah, so give me just a little bit of time and I'll figure out how this all works. So with that, come on, with that, here we go. All right, friends. So as you can see, I actually do have a Jet in a little bit of a different position. And yeah, so I pretty much Figured out uh, how everything worked through the manual, obviously. Just wanted to make sure that I knew what I was talking about before going into this. So as you can see, we do have the antenna prongs uh, from the accessory set. We do have the two different kind of like um, spread out prongs. And then we have the straight antenna, which is, you know, a lot longer than the base one. So very cool. And we also have the different hand accessories on as well as the blue visor. So as you can tell, the, the visor itself does look brighter compared to these kind of like deep blue one where it's a little bit more offline uh but yeah pretty cool to have it in the flight mode if that's your thing uh i'm not really a flight mode type of person when it comes to a lot of monsters slash things uh, but it's still very cool to see and we're gonna go ahead and take this puppy apart to actually see show you guys how all of it works um so i covered all the accessories the only ones i didn't cover was this which is actually used to like help you take out the eye effect piece I did it with my nail. I'm so used to not having help that I'm just kind of like, you know what, I'm just going in. But very nice and considerate of them to give us this kind of like piece to, you know, work with. I'm being mean. Uh, and then on this one, actually, if I am correct, this is actually a set of extras for the antennas. So if I am correct, right here to here is the small antenna, which is in the base version. And then right here to here is the long one that is currently within the figure. So. You know, they're very small. Like, the, the small antenna that's in the base figure is extremely small. That I, like, you know, my finger is probably thicker than the entire thing. Um, so, yeah, let's go ahead and do that. So, you know, with something like this, all you want to do is make sure you know where you're putting your pieces. So, let's go ahead and put our prongs back. And then all you want to do is grab the other ones that will sufficely just, I think, slot in there. So, yep, there's one. Looks a little off. I got a little bend in there. Now it's protruding outward. But yeah, I'm sorry. I'm not really showing it too well. Um, you really just want to put it right where the uh, prongs go. And then after that, you kind of... Okay. So yeah, prong, slot. You just want to very gently push it in. And then just kind of let it rest. So make sure it's in there very nice so it doesn't just fall out and then I'm trying to get this other prong to come down but if it doesn't come down then you know what it's fine that's just the way it is which it looks like it's not and then for the our long antenna piece here so we're gonna go ahead and take that out we're going to grab the very very small one you cannot even see it that well and we're just gonna go very gently come on very gently just make sure that we're getting in there and then we push it down and 
it's it's in there don't worry it's there as you can see um so yeah i mean wow right that's uh that was a lot you know that's a lot of accessory or at least small minor ones i thought i was you know you know was like whoa like what is going on here but um it's not too bad and then we also have the mini jet we also have the mini jet which is very cool and fun um very easy to lose i'd imagine so and then obviously you do have your different hand accessories which is really simple just take it apart and then put that puppy in there there we go no we know there we go yep you heard the click and then lastly i did forget to show the eye effect although i do prefer to have this one so you're pretty much just going to want to pull apart the head the face mask if you will just nice and gently and there's no reason to uh go too hard on it just nice and gently eventually it will come off as you can see that gray piece and then we're gonna we're gonna take this and then we're just going to slide and boom there you go and then what you would do is you just pretty much put it in there to rest but even if you lose the piece you can just go straight in and then just kind of do your thing and of course there we go yeah and then just make sure it's resting in there once again and then just attach the face mask back on this piece does not want to stay down attach the face mask back on and we are set so i mean yeah that is uh that's pretty much the figure uh obviously you can get a lot of really cool poses especially with someone's jet where there's a lot of fun fighting poses you can make with jets hold on i gotta make this look good we'll do that and then that okay now i'm just doing that pose stuff like Come on now the leg pieces are you know a little wonky and i think it has to do with the knee pad piece i'm not entirely sure how i feel about it i think aesthetically it looks cool but um in terms of like what i'm trying to do now you can kind of see how it's conflicting and the legs are kind of like they don't want to go the way i want them to go um just because that piece is like the knee pad piece itself is straight and then if you want to go at an angle, it kind of conflicts with that. So I think that's probably around the best I'm going to get with my uh, luck. But yeah, I mean, obviously you can have some very cool fun poses with Jet. And uh, for showcase, mini Jet. Mini Jet statue. Ta-da! All right. So with that, let's go ahead and move on to our comparisons. I did cover all the accessories, which was actually quite fun. Usually I'm like, oh, uh, and then, you know, I kind of give up on it, but... Uh, let's move on to our comparisons. I have quite a few comparisons. Oh, so bear with me here. Let's go ahead and start off with our Monster Art friends. So this is the 1972 Godzilla from Godzilla vs. Ghidorah. Oh, I'm sorry, 1971. Um, and obviously I chose this one because the suit difference between two, uh, 71 and 72, there is a difference, but um, you know, it's the closest thing we have right now. So if they ever were to do a 72, Comparison, you know, it would be something along this line just for the sake of having Godzilla look up, kind of like that there. So we could have pretty cool diorama effect piece there. And then continuing, we do have the 71 guy again. Yes, right? I'm not I'm not bluffing here. Uh the 71 guy again from the film, obviously. Am I bluffing? 72, 73, 74. It is 72. No, Godzilla vs. Gigan is 1972. Uh, my apologies. Um, dang, this is definitely a um, the, an interesting video. Uh, the 72 Gigan and the 72 Godzilla, right? Closest thing we have to the 73 suits. And so for comparison's sake, you know, they look pretty well. They'd be fun, you know, realistically, in terms of Monster Arts family, if you really wanted to go and have this as a whole set. All we're really missing is Megalon. So when that'll happen, who knows, but... Alas, we will continue our comparisons, ending off that Monster Arts line and jumping into the Bandai. So this is the 1973 Godzilla from its respective movie, Godzilla vs. Jet Jaguar. And as you can tell, they look they go pretty well. I'd say um I would say Godzilla probably would be at heights with Jet in the movie itself. I'd like to imagine. It's been a while since I've seen that movie. But, um, I mean, even at this level, I think both of them look really cool. 
So that is the 73 there. Uh, we're going to go ahead and move on towards the retro color uh, Jet Jaguar Bandai Movie Monster Series. Just the Bandai comparison versus the monster arts. You know, the fun versus the, the film accurate. So very cool. You can kind of see the color differentiation between the two figures. So it's awesome. I actually like it. Uh, next up, we're going to go ahead and go towards the Retro Color Megalon from the Bandai Movie Monster Series line. And this is just kind of the standard Megalon mold. And uh, I think it goes pretty well. Jet's probably a little bit too big right here. But, you know, if you have them next to another, you know, no one's really going to care that much. I think they look great together. Uh, realistically, we're just waiting on a monster. It's honestly. Uh, so there's that one. Oh, I actually did lie. I guess to round about back to the Monster Arts line, this is how I have my Jet Jaguar Gamma. Okay, this is uh, the Jet Jaguar Gamma, if I'm correct, from Singular Point. This is how I have it displayed in all of its glory with the spear, the, you know, the jet pack, even the stand, you know, it moves forward because it's so darn heavy with the, the Angira spear. But just a, a difference between the two Jet Jaguars we have within the franchise. With this being the first and this being the most recent. So, yeah, I mean, you can kind of see the uh, the initial differences between the two. I'm really hoping none of them fall. Just because, uh, especially the Gamma one. Because that one is, you know, has a lot happening on it compared to something like this. But yeah, that's, you know, this is uh, the evolution of Jet. Only realistically two different depictions. One being in 2022, if that's when Singular Point came out. So that, I want to say, wraps it up for our Jet Jaguar. Um, you know, in conclusion, I think that besides the legs, kind of giving me this kind of like wonky, they don't want to, you know, contrast with one another. They just want to be straight, which I guess is technically how the suit probably would be. Because if it would, then it would bend easily and you would see a lot of the uh, creases along the suit. Um, I actually really enjoy it. You know, there's a lot that they throw at you with the accessories, which I think does give you a lot of posability and range and creativity on how you want to do it, right? You can have two different jet poses. You can have the flying one. You can have the ready pose. You can have the punch pose. And stuff like that. So, I, you know, there's a lot. Um, you even get the mini jet, which is kind of like, a, it's up to you if you enjoy it. You know, it's really small. It's probably something that'll be like either displayed or put in a bag with the other accessories. And the other accessories that we did get right are um, very small as well sorry i was trying to get my train of thought there but they are also very small um especially with the head antennas but you know i guess they are nice enough enough to give us some extra pieces because they are extremely small right so i don't know i think that for a show release it's good monster arts and should their show releases have been pretty good lately um with the Gigan, with Hidora, with the Showa, um, the 70, ooh, 72 Godzilla from Gigan. And then there's this one, which I guess technically is different, right? It's not, you know, a traditional style of um, monster design with so much detail in terms of the scaling, you know, like on the texturing, you know, this is straight up just, you know, a robot in a sense. So... There, it's quite the comparison, but I feel like as if I'm giving off the idea that I'm not impressed with it. But realistically, for what it is, I enjoy it. I think it's probably a little bit one of their weaker show releases, just because I think these are like really, really good. Uh, not to say I don't like this figure, because I actually really do. Jet is really funny and really cool to have, obviously, with a thumbs up accessory. It's just a matter of like... I don't know. There's something I can't put on the mark here, but um, sorry. I feel like I'm complaining or I'm like roundabout complaining, but I mean, like I said, to be truthful, I really do enjoy this release. I think it's fun. I think uh, the articulation is there. Uh, it's kind of conflicts with one another in some certain spots, but that's just because of how the mold is. And you know, for being a humanoid type of figure, and metal nonetheless and they kind of went with the aesthetic with how the actual suit is with a bunch of like this coil 
seen throughout the entire body. I think it is well made. I think it's well made. I'm not going to say anything else besides that. I think it's well made and um, I enjoy it. I would say it's definitely a fun pickup if you are a fan of Jet Jaguar. You know, you can put it on the shelf as you please. You can put it in any pretty much almost any uh, posability you would like. The flight mode, the fight mode, the thumbs up mode. You know, it's all fun and games with this mon monster arts um, of Jet Jaguar from the Godzilla vs. Megalon film. So with that, I have been just talking. So I'm going to go ahead and wrap it up. Um, let me know what you guys think of it, honestly. It's definitely a fun release. I'm not sure what you guys might think about it, but I definitely did enjoy my time with it. And uh, I'm going to have a lot of fun posing with it and taking some photos with the whole gang. And I mean, realistically, like I said, all we're really missing is Megalon because those other two, you know, they can suffice for the movie's um, suits. We're really just missing a Megalon Monster Arts. And the day that happens, I will be there just as if I were here for this one. So ultimately, with that being said, once again, let me know what you guys think. And uh, I will see you guys in the next video. See ya!